Welcome back golfers and let's try and break a hundred. So I just managed to uh, put this one to the left hand side, just snuck underneath the trees. So using another five iron, Ooh. just push this uh, right underneath the right hand trees. Into the trees. And just tried to uh, chip it out, but caught a bit too much and clipped the trees. And uh, chipped it on, not a bad effort. Yeah. Just my uh, my putting, I need to work on my putting. That's the only thing yeah. that's really loosing me down just lately. Yeah, that, yeah, under, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And end up leaving this one short. That's six. So on to the uh, the second. This is me favourite. Um, no, well that. Favourite hole. In the first video, I put it to the yeah. right hand side, and the right. second video, I put it to the left hand side. You've done that talking about that to put me off my shot. I've played shit since you talked about that. So then, just trying to bump it through the trees. With a uh, with a nine iron, and then just trying to bump it on again. Not bad. Not bad from course. where it was. And then drop it for a four. I came oh, to that the third. Water, you want to see that? Is it ready, mate? I absolutely cream this driver. That is. Sorry, mate. I am sorry. <laughs> He wore happy when he's in that land. Time to break out my uh, favourite iron, the, the five iron. I absolutely cream this. I pulled it left, right again. Just go a little bit to the right, where uh, it's down there. So I'm just going to try and chip it on with a wedge. Uh, I did catch the ground, but the result is is uh, fantastic. Put the ground it first, though. Thanks, pal. Oh, look at me. Four, five, six. Oh, three, Okay, on to the fourth. Uh, probably not my bestest drive for some reason. I just spanned it. But guess what's coming out next? The trusty five iron, which gets absolutely creamed. So yeah, just gonna try a, uh, another five iron. I do catch this one a little bit clean. Uh, but end up in, um, on the left hand side bunker. Not a bad effort um, chipping out the uh, bunker. So on to the uh, fifth. I don't know what, what happened today. This driver was absolutely brilliant. Or there was a few bad drives, but most of the drives today were um, pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> one. So yeah, just gonna try and um, lock this out with a nine iron. And then I have a terrible, um, a terrible couple of shots in the bunker. We can't all be perfect all the time. Yeah. 
So yeah, this next chip saved the day. Just left it about a foot and a half away from the hole. Okay, on to the six. Probably not my bestest wedge. Um, left it a little bit short. But then tried to bump it on. Just uh, not, not a bad effort, you know, from a high handicap. You got to uh, you got to take them shots. There's what you're aiming at. I was aiming at then. Just take the forward and move on. No give me. Four. Before starting, I was contemplating taking the uh, the driver out the bag today, but I'm glad I didn't because it was on fire. Oh. Thing went to the right as well. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see that one today. I'm thinking of give, giving my five iron a nickname. Comment below. Um, I'll turn out. Any good suggestions? Oh, just bouncing before, I think, Mick. Look at that. So, yeah, I had a lesson before I started this game. Um, we've been practicing no. chipping, but then decided to try one of my medical. This is yellow fruit away on Never work. And you've just been bigging up your own play all day. That's two bad shots. Just, do you know what I've just seen there? 68 yards. I thought the fing 30, the 11th at the Deans. So decided to chip it, what we've been practicing all morning. Too much. Just sent it a little bit too far. Left. But if I'd done that on the previous shot, it would have been just front edge of the green. I should have used that back there, shouldn't I? In all the years I've played with him, I've <gasps> never seen him miss one of those shots. I'm sure she'll give me as well. I did it, I'll show you myself. I said, shot me. Yeah. What's that, seven? Seven for me, yeah. Okay, on to the eighth. Um, the driver is just performing better than I expected. I did push this one out a little bit to the right hand side. Um, we did think at first. I did what play a divisional ball because we thought this one might be lost, but um, but we found it. Okay. So I'm just gonna uh, try and just <sighs> chip it yeah, back into the middle of the uh, fairway. That red mark on it. A bit more than that. That's two seven eight. Uh, so yeah, not a not a bad effort. I know. But then I have to break I know out uh, the trusty five iron, <laughs> <laughs> which is absolutely on fire. Straight up the centre of the fairway. Catch me if you can. Too much. Yeah, so onto the putting. Um, still struggling with distance control on putting. I mean, then. I absolutely fire this one past. But then bring it up. Not a bad three put. Now, this is where it all goes wrong. Horribly wrong. Uh, first drive, I absolutely just Ooh. smashed it out to the right hand side, which is out of bounds. Do you that's gone? And then the uh, second huh? drive, um, I, I don't Do you know, that's gone? I just Will you open up there? tried to huh? take some off it, but ended up doing some wacky, uh, some wacky shot and just pulled it to the left. Oh, straight as an arrow now. 
just look uh, just look where my body's aiming and um, that's one of the main reasons why I'm losing so many shots alignment so I'll put that one straight into the trees good afternoon good afternoon so I'll take my drop uh, point of entry and then manage to top but we down there that's the main thing So yeah, the ninth turns into an absolute card wrecker. So on to the 10th. This is where I do one of my sand drivers. It does go. I know, yeah. Bunker, in the middle of the bunkers, I think, bud. Oh, just for the first one. A bit of Elvis, like. Yeah. Oh, look, kids, I, I can't do upper, upper body and then it, It's as if you're proper. Try to well eat, yeah, like that. So yeah, trusty five iron. I uh, push this one. Push this one right. It's all going right. In between them trees. So yeah, it's going to bump it out into the middle of the fairway. But then break out the trusty five iron that we all love straight to the back of the green. I love this club. Absolutely love it. Worm burner. You know what? I expected that to be turned towards the left. I thought I stood here, I was looking at that. Oh, caught it a bit. It'll end up there now, look. Ooh. It felt like I absolutely hit this putt. But still comes up short. Oh, did, did you hear that? I clunked mine. Oh, I've left loads of meat on that. That's loads of meat on that. That's a dip your bread job, yeah. Told the shit out of mine, I thought, oh. <laughs> and then decided to take credit when he started to come round. <laughs> Oh. Okay, on to the 10th, temporary green, uh, just going to use my pitching wedge. It does make the green, but uh, bounces and rolls off. Oh, it's running off. There were no other option other than trying to put this. Just leave it a little bit short. But still come off with a foot. Hang on. Yeah. Put pressure on that one. Three, four then. Straight up the middle. Shot. Have that mound eight. Yeah. Ah, oh, bunker. So I'm just going to try and use a nine iron. About 130 yards out. Too much. We just landed to, oh. to the right hand side of the green. What? Then try to chip it, but end up blading it towards the back.
I have noticed whenever I make a, a mistake on a long put, the put what afterwards, I always seem to just do like a little tippy tappy stroke, which is always ends up being short. So on to the 14th, uh, on temporary greens, we're about 150 yards out. Just used a seven iron, but ended up short, right. Top tip, if I try and put this mix a bit, uh, if somebody gives you a gimme, pick it up. That's if I miss it Don't there, will you? There you get it, mate. Just pick it up. Wah, wah, wah. She's up. There it go. Yeah. Just going to try a little chip shot with a wedge. Just come up a little bit too short. Not a bad effort, but just a bit short. So I'm going to try and put it. Turn, turn. Oh, it just oh. skims the hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you put some effort into it. Go on to the seventeenth. I just do a Spanish shot to the left in the shadow. There's uh, there's no excuses. So then just try and chip. Well, try to knock it back into the centre. Just oh. ended up topping it and leaving it uh, on the edge oh. of the bunker. Then caught it really well, but was the aimed into the tree. And you can try and chip it and top it again and roll it right to the top of the green. Right. <sighs> tried something different, ain't they work? I just tried to just bring my arms around. <sighs> I fucking keep it from trees. Where did it go? I think it's time to break out the five iron to save the day. So I've caught this one really well. So straight Get over up. the uh, the mounds and the bunkers and just lands on the left hand side of the green. Not a bad effort at all. Just the putting, need to work on the putting. Ah, oh, too much. What's that, 5-6? Okay, on to the 18th, nearly home. Um, yeah, the driver sort of went a little bit cold. Um, just up there on the left hand side. Just ran into that dirty.
Oh my, that was creamed. Okay, so obviously didn't break a hundred this time. Join me next week where I will be break will be breaking one hundred. Um, and as for the poll, I did uh, middle of the week. Congratulations to Chris. Uh, comment uh, on the right hand side. Uh, just Six. leave a comment, buddy. And we'll try and arrange somehow getting uh, the prize to you. Thanks again. Have a great weekend, everyone.